This is a 2005 John Deere 3120. It's an e-hydro, um, hydrostatic. It is powered um, by electronics that control the transmission. So on this tractor, we had um, some issues with, and later what happened too is the PTO stopped working. Um, now it wouldn't, you can hear it click. Now before I replace the part that fixed it, you could turn this, but it would, it would lock out. Okay, you'd start it, pull the PTO switch up, and the light would come on, but the PTO would not work. Okay, no PTO work. You could feel pressure on the PTO, but it wouldn't move, and it was, you could feel like something locking it out. <clears throat> well, we diagnosed it down to the solenoid. Um, the PTO solenoid is located on the left side, right underneath here. It's these two red wires that go into, this is your solenoid here. It slips over your valve that this is a magnetic, um, this makes a magnetic charge when you power it. And what it does is slide a valve open in here. Now, they don't sell for this tractor, John Deere does not sell you just this solenoid or just this valve that goes inside the body. I had to buy the entire body for $750, but, um, when you go and testing it, you can take this, there's one bolt on the end. It's about a 9 16 or 14. You unthread that. And this slides off. If you test um, this really, you won't hear a click. It's a magnetic power. You might hear it engage, but it slips onto this shaft. And what that does is open that valve inside there. So if you can turn, have someone turn the PTO on and feel this, and you feel it clicking, opening, shut, then you're all right. Otherwise, if you if you can't, what I did is I came underneath. You have to pull the wheel off. Now these are, um, the lugs on the wheel are a seven ace. Pull all your lugs off your wheel. I put a strap on it. Mine are fluid filled, they're heavy. I put it to the side. So that way you can get to the, the valve bolt, which I think is a 22 millimeter. And you can unscrew this valve. And once you got the valve out, you slip your solenoid back over the valve, put your 14 or 916 nut back on, and then power it. And it should, there's a valve in here, you should see, you can feel it click open and shut. If that's opening and shutting, you probably have a different issue. But if it's not, um, if it's not positively opening and clicking, and like I said, it would be easy, you know, take your, actually take that out and put this back together and test that. Um, go to the bench, put 12 volts on this with it assembled on your valve and make sure that the check valve in here is clicking, opening and shut and you'll be able to see it because you can see the metal, there's a metal piece inside that opens and closes. Um, I would bench test that with 12 volts. It does take 12 volts to power that enough to charge it. Um, so, that's how you test that to make sure you're good before you go and spend $700. But when you change it, it's an 11 16 works on here. It's not quite the right size, but so you'll need a wrench and a half inch and it pulls these out and there's a um, <clears throat> O-ring on the back. So look for that, you need that. They come with the O-rings assembled on here, so you don't need them, it comes with them. But make sure you got the O-rings and you're ready to go for that if you can do this job. So half inch, 11 sixteenths, or metric, uh, 14 or 9 sixteenths and a 22, and a seven eighths to pull your wheel off. You can do this job yourself. It is a $700 part, test it properly. Uh, please like and subscribe, I hope this helped you out. But it got my PTO working, which I was getting pretty nervous that it was gonna be a big job. So. God bless you all and I hope I save you guys some money and some time.